Hello gorgeous souls, how are we doing? I just um I've just come from our class. Taught a beautiful class today, tonight I should say. Oh, it's just what needed. The full moon has drawn a lot of energies and emotions out of a lot of people at the moment. So today we're doing a full card reading. I hope everyone's had an amazing day. Kids are back to school. I hope we're releasing any negative energies that's built up over the full moon as it's time to move on and move past our past, to move forward. Let's start trekking forward. We have a beautiful card to do that in a minute. I'm just finding our cards now. So what have we been up to today? Anything exciting? Let me know. Don't forget our competitions that we have on at the moment, an event. And I'll be putting on some more competitions for us as well. All different types, hopefully. And what have we got? Illusion as well. <laughs> that sounds kind of appropriate, considering... We're just entering our waning stage of our, our moon. And um, illusion is in the cards as well. So it's pretty quiet. I've got two watching apparently. Might just get our last card. This is a beautiful card to end on. Look how gorgeous that one is. That was our last card for tonight. I'll be reading in a minute. Hi Rhonda, hi gorgeous, how you doing? An instinct. Okay, let's get started, hey? So our first card for tonight is our crown chakra. I'm reading from our from my chakra mindset deck tonight. How gorgeous. We've got a little gold coming down. Oh, Bolt, don't you dare, mister. You leave that poor frog alone. Bolt. So our first card for tonight is our crown chakra. And for those who don't know where your crown chakra is, it is just above your head or the top part of your head so crown chakra the crown chakra is located at the top of the head and is your connection to the divine your gateway to pure consciousness this chakra is unique to each individual here the focus shifts from self to a sense of oneness and being of service to others. When the crown chakra is balanced, you are living in harmony and unity with the entire universe. When the crown chakra is blocked, you may have feelings of discontent and be one-minded when it comes to spirituality and the belief systems of others. 
You may find yourself drifting from day to day with no real sense of purpose. Now is the time to realize that you are more than just your physical body. You are connected to all things and they are one with the divine. Take some time to reflect and ask yourself. Hi Sarah, hi gorgeous. Ask yourself, what is it that I am questioning or seeking in regards to my spirituality? What is my life purpose? How can I be of service? Allow yourself to, uh, you allow yourself to sit with these questions and now is the time for you to expand your awareness and look past the illusion of separation, which is quite funny because Illusion is one of our next cards. Mantra. I open myself up and am ready to explore my own spirituality and start living my divine life purpose. Let's say that one again. I open myself up and am ready to explore my own spirituality and start living my divine life purpose. Hi Simone, hi gorgeous. So our first card for tonight is our crown chakra. How yeah, beautiful. Our second card for tonight I'm doing four cards tonight guys, special one tonight is forgiving. I'll just show you the back of these cards, it's the same as the cover but I hope you can see the phoenix. Can you see the phoenix? As she's raised, her arms are raised, and she's open to rebirth. This is what this symbolizes. Forgiving. So our second card for, for tonight is forgiving. Forgiveness will set you free. Again, holding on to past hurts and regrets is like poison that runs through your veins. It keeps you stuck in the past and unable to move on to better things, often taking up a huge amount of energy preoccupying thoughts and lives. Forgiveness of others who have done you wrong does not mean you condone their behavior. It simply means that you no longer allow it to cause you harm and consume you. People often confuse letting go with pardon and they are two very, very different things. Forgiveness of self also plays a huge role in your happiness and ability to move forward. Breathe in the aroma of self-love and acceptance and breathe out the need to hold on to emotions that do not longer or no longer serve you, I should say. Let it go with every out-breath. It's exactly what I teach. You are ready to set yourself free. I just got goosebumps. And to make space in your thoughts and in your heart for all the beauty, love and joy that you so deserve. Your mantra. I choose forgiveness in order to set myself free. Let's say that one again. I choose, <laughs> blah, blah. maybe not that one, let's try again. I choose forgiveness in order to set myself free. 
additional meanings. Breathe in peace. Breathe out resentment. Forgive others. Forgive yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. Forgiving. Now that is magical. I seem to choose just exactly the right um, background sometimes, don't I? I absolutely love this card because it is just so honest, so true. She's looking out to the universe. She's opening her heart. See the hearts in the background. And she's letting go. She's not holding on. She's free. And that can be you too. Our third card for tonight is illusion. Hi Katrina, how are you doing gorgeous? I'm doing a four card reading tonight for those who have just joined. We've already done two. This is our third card for tonight. Illusion. Know that what you are telling yourself about your current situation is an illusion. You are not allowing yourself to see the full picture. At times you may make the unconscious choice to not see things as they actually are because you believe that it is easier or safer for you to do so. Realize that the longer you hold on to illusion, the harder it becomes for you to regain your perspective, to see things as they are, and then to alter your circumstances to better serve you. So again, we're coming back to holding on. It can only do harm. It's no good for us. We cannot hold on to things. It doesn't matter what it is. Even clutter. What is that? What is it that you are denying? Is it time to acknowledge, to see things for what they truly are? You need to allow your intuition to guide you without filtering what comes to you. Just let it happen. If you see these messages, if you hear these messages, if you see it in a dream, it's meant to be. All these little signs that come to us, Butterflies, the dragonflies, you know, these beautiful, you might see a leaf, you might see a bird, you might get a big slap in the face from the wind. There are so many different signs to watch out for and our angels are always around us, even if you believe it or not. And they're always surrounding us with love, with light. So know that there is more out there for you, and you are not alone. So we're letting go of illusion. What is it that you're denying? And it is time to see things as they truly are. So you need to allow your intuition to guide you, as we just said, and your true intuition serves and protects you as it separates you from your ego. Ego is another big thing, isn't it? Mantra. I am now strong enough to let go of the illusion. I take responsibility to do what is best and honour the divine in me. 
let's do that one again. Hey Rachel, hey sweetness, hey mama gorgeous girl. Hands up Bubba Reviews. Let's say this mantra again. I am now strong enough to let go of the illusion. I take responsibility to do what is best and honour the divine in me. Additional meanings. You are your own worst enemy. Change your perspective to see the reality. Your thoughts become your reality. Where focus goes, energy flows. Does it not? So our third card for tonight, guys. Illusion. We need to see things as they truly and honestly are. It's awesome to live in a fantasy world, but we can't always be there. I know I'd like to escape to a fantasy world as much as I can, but the honest truth is, it just can't happen. Maybe every now and again. Maybe when my kids get a bit bigger. <laughs> But it's like holding on to anger. It's like holding on to past. Stop the illusion. Change your way of thinking. So that's three cards down. We've got one more to go. We're doing a special four card reading tonight. And our last gorgeous card. I absolutely love this. I've got my red on representing the root chakra this one is instinct how gorgeous is that the flames the red the fire the gold coming down passion luck Red represents so much, but especially our root chakra. How we ground and center ourselves. Root down into the earth. Womb. All the magical things. Instinct. Your instincts can serve you or alternative uh, blah, blah, again. It's been a long day. <laughs> Your instincts can serve you or alternatively, they can limit you. Take some time to notice how you react to people and situations. Do you trust your instincts? And do they serve you and keep you safe? They should. When you are comfortable in your surroundings, you have the ability to be proactive rather than reactive. Explore your environment and notice how you interact with it, how you interact with it. It is time to loosen your grip and need to control. In doing so, things will start to happen as they should. When you relax your ability to see things and act on them in a non-urgent manner will mean that you have tension that the tension that you feel in your body can be replaced with a sense of comfort and ease instead. When you are true to yourself, you will act instinctively to support the things that are for your greater good. Do not overanalyze your reactions to things. Simply start noticing them and when you're comfortable, you will start to trust your instincts and they will serve you well. Mantra. I trust my instincts. Let's repeat that one. I trust my instincts. Trust in yourself. You're magical. You're powerful. Don't forget it. Additional meanings. Your instincts are correct. The person or situation you are inquiring about is trustworthy. Release your attachment to the outcome. The person or situation you are inquiring about is untrustworthy.
four magical cards for tonight. Wait a minute, please. I'll be in a minute. Not right now, please. I'll be in a minute, sweetheart. Okay, oh, before I knock that over. So our first card for tonight was our crown chakra. So hashtag replay for your replay in our topic section. Up in our group up the top, you'll find replays of videos, announcements, competitions, all sorts of things. So if you've missed any of the video tonight, Go back and watch for our messages. Crown Chakra was our first. Forgiving was our second card tonight. Forgiveness of self and of others. Our third card tonight. Hi Fiona, hello my gorgeous friend, how are you doing? Hope you're feeling well. Our third card tonight was illusion. Stop the illusion. Trust your intuition. Believe in yourself. You're magical, you're powerful. Coming straight back to, oh, that was the wrong one. We had illusion, yep, no, that was right. An instinct, our last card was instinct. Our beautiful, fiery, red, passionate card. You have the guidance within you. You just have to trust in yourself. Know that the universe does have your back. Even if it doesn't seem like it all the time. Hi Shelly, hi gorgeous. The universe does have our back. And she shows us in so many ways. Sometimes we miss out on that gratitude. We go through things and we don't think things are fair. But we go through these things for a reason. Sometimes we honestly, we don't know why. But the outcome is usually for the better. So give yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Trust in yourself and your instincts. Oh my gosh, my card just flew. Trust in yourself. You have that magic inside you. You always have. You have that light. It may need to shine a little brighter, but you have it. It is there. You be your own beacon of light. When you're your own beacon of light, you're a beacon of light for others as well. So massive full card reading tonight. It was just what we needed coming out of that full moon. And it was a very powerful and emotional full moon, this one. I've seen it everywhere that I've been. So keep in touch with those emotions. Try not to let them overpower you. Take a breath, breathe whenever you need it. Stop, even if it's just a second or two. Step back, assess your situation. Can you do it another way? Can you maybe get around it or can you speak to the person a different way or can you kind of control that situation a bit better? Come on, hurry up. I think she just wants to show off her new shoes. The neighbor bought her some plastic high heels. Sharon. Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. Say good night. Good night. <laughs>
Okay guys, I'm going to go chill, put my babies to bed, they've got school in the morning, I've just done an amazing class and I need to have a nice warm bath or shower just to let my muscles soak for a little bit. So have an amazing night, have sweet dreams, cosmic kisses, we'll see you tomorrow, sweet dreams.